The first player is Daniel Sturridge and I really hope that this doesn't happen but I think EA will downgrade him to an 82 rated striker because he was out injured for most of last season like 6 or 7 months in total he had 3 uh, serious injuries so I think his rating and some of his stats will go down that's what EA usually do does with injured players the next player that we are looking at is Christian Benteke I really hope by the way that you guys like the design on this video I worked my ass off to make this video as professional and as good looking as possible so make sure to leave a like to appreciate my work and I will do other clubs in uh, England and Spain and Germany and Italy and other other big clubs uh, if you want so let me know which other clubs should I cover in the comments below and uh, I think Benteke will get an upgrade because he scored a lot of goals after he came back from his injury he scored like 13 in 13 games he scored 12 goals for Aston Villa at the end of the season the next player we are looking at is Mario Balotelli and I had to do a major downgrade on him maybe EA will give him an 80 rating but he has the shocking season he scored only one Premier League goal if I remember scored only four goals in total and yeah I think he should be downgraded his finishing uh, his dribbling his passing should be downgraded and I really hope that Liverpool sell him because it's clear that Brandon Rodgers doesn't uh, count on him the next player that we are covering is Coutinho and I think he was one of the players of the season for Liverpool and I think actually this this should be happening that Coutinho gets upgraded by two ratings not one by two because he is now one of the one of the most exciting Premier League players to watch what he needs to improve though is his finishing he only has a 68 shooting on FIFA 15 I think he will get 71 shooting his long range shots are great but he only scored five, 5 goals from 103 shots in the Premier League last season and that's not a good return but if he improves his finishing his rating could be up even more but let me know if you disagree with that guys and of course the next player is the big signing Firmino who should get an upgrade because he had a brilliant season in the Bundesliga for Hoffenheim and he looked really exciting for Liverpool I upgraded his passing, his pace, his uh, shooting and also his dribbling. So I think he should be 82 rated. We will see what happens. Jordan Henderson who was another outstanding player for Liverpool. He's like an unsung hero. He played in midfield and he got so many goals and so many assists. I think he even had more goals and assists than Coutinho. So he definitely deserved a brass 2 upgrade. He's, he should be 81 rated on FIFA 16. I hope the EA will do this and this will happen. I improved his shooting as well because I think he improved his shooting in real life. The next one might be a little bit controversial. Simon Mignolet. He had a really bad start to the season but after, the, after he came back uh, Brad Jones got injured and he came back I think he improved a lot and why I gave him a plus one rating is that he has the most clean sheets out of any goalkeeper in the calendar year of 2015 so that's why I gave him an upgrade I hope you guys understand the next player is Mamadou Sako one of my favorite center backs at the club he has been the most consistent centre-back at the club with the best stats, uh, he has uh, the best pass accuracy, he has like 94% pass accuracy, he is a really underrated player in my opinion. He should start ahead of Lovren every time in my opinion, but of course Brandon Rodgers is the manager, they see these players every week so it's his decision. I think Sako should be an 82 rated defender. Uh, Martin Skirtel. I think I don't think he will change his rating. He he had a, an okay season, but Liverpool really need to improve that defensively. So that's why I, I didn't improve his rating. I think Liverpool I think Skirtel will keep his rating. Dejan Lovren, wow, this is really weird. Guys, Lovren started as a 79 rated centre back and believe it or not, he got a January upgrade. So that's why I'm showing his 80 card because he got a January upgrade by EA which was mind blowing. It baffled everyone basically, even the Liverpool fans. I think he should be downgraded to 78 
rate his centre back, and I'm I'm saying that as a Liverpool fan. Of course, I really hope that he comes good and he improves. Adam Lalana, who, who had a injury plagued season, and I, I, that's why I didn't improve his rating because he didn't score enough goals or assists. And for a 25 million pound player, you expect much more. You expect more goals and more assists. James Milner, who has been very, very reliable. He won't improve his rating, but I think EA will give him a center midfield role instead of a right midfielder role because that's where he will play all season long for Liverpool. So I think he will stay the same rating, just like Joe Allen, who also didn't have the most amazing seasons. And I would sell him instead of Lucas, to be honest, but at the moment it looks like Joe Allen will stay, who is the Rodgers' favorite, and Lucas will get bumped out. One of the most improved players, I think, from the beginning of the last season to the end of the last season was Nathan Clyde, who became one of the best right backs in the league last season. And no wonder big club Liverpool snatched him up, and I think he deserves a plus two rating. He should go from 76 to 78. At the moment, I think now he's one of the best uh, right backs in the league. The next player that we are looking at is Lazar Markovic, who had a really bad season in my opinion because Rodgers played him out of position, he looked uh, out of confidence, that's why I think he deserves a 1 rating downgrade from 78 to 77. And I, I really hope he will loan, him, loan, loan Markovic out because he needs games, he needs to play regularly. Emre Chan is a very interesting uh, thing. He started as a 74 rated silver centre midfielder. In the January upgrade, he got a 75, 75 upgrade as a centre back. I think he will get upgraded again as a 76 rated centre midfielder. He had a really, really good season for Liverpool, mainly playing in the defence. So I think he deserves a plus one upgrade to become a 76 rated centre midfielder, Emre Chan. And I think he will keep improving. Really looking forward to watching him play for Liverpool this season. The next player that we are looking at is Lucas Leiva, who might not be a Liverpool player for long. I think his rating will stay the same. He had an OK se season, nothing spectacular. But he always does a reliable job, so I would I would be really sad to see him go. And I, if we sell Lucas, we need to bring in someone like Ilar Mendy or someone somebody who is very very good. Moreno also do, didn't have the best of seasons. He started off very good, but then as the as the team declined, he declined as well. So I'm not sure if it's Moreno's form which declined or the team didn't play as well as before. Kolo Toure, I think he will he will get a 77 rating on FIFA 16 because you know that's what EA does with older players. Kolo Toure is I think he's now 33 or 34 years old, so I think he will get downgraded by one. Divo Origi, who had a pretty okay season with Lille, he he didn't score as many goals as as possible as we expected him to, but Lille had a really terrible season, so it was also down to Origi's teammates. I think he will still get an upgrade because he joins Liverpool and usually when players join a big club like Liverpool they get upgraded. And the next player that we are looking at is Danny Ings who I think will get a big upgrade. He was a 71 rated silver card and he had great pace and great shooting already. I really enjoyed using him on Ultimate Team this year but I think he deserves a big upgrade and he deserves to be a 74 rated player on FIFA 16 because for a small club like Burnley, who fighted against relegation and created the fewest chances, he still scored a lot of goals in the Premier League. And I think that's very impressive, so I think Danny Ings should de definitely deserve his upgrade. Thiago Ilori, who was on loan at Bordeaux last season, he also deserves an upgrade, in my opinion, by plus one, because he's a young player and he had a pretty solid season with Bordeaux. The next player is Jordan Ive, I'm sure look, lots of you guys have been looking forward to this. And I gave him a 71 rating from 67. I would have loved to give him a higher rating, but I don't think EA really, really does a lot of, um, you know, upgrades in terms of rating wise. So I think 71 could be pretty realistic for FIFA 16. Let me know if you disagree. But he still has to add goals to his game. He hasn't scored a Premier League goal yet for Liverpool. So once he does that, I think his rating and his shooting will improve even more. And the next player is John Flanagan and he has been out injured for almost 18 months now. That's why I got a, I, that's why I downgraded his rating. I think he will be a 69 rated 
left back on FIFA 16 because he has the long term injury and usually with long term injuries EA downgrade his rating. Adam Bogdan had a really good season at Bolton. Yes, he was injured quite a few times, but other, otherwise he played uh, solid games and uh, he, were, he was outstanding against Liverpool at Anfield, so that's why we signed him up. He improved a lot uh, at Bolton in the recent years, so I think his rating needs to be upgraded. Samad Yashil also had a pretty good season for the reserves, but uh, yeah, he needs to go on loan and also he was injured quite a few times, but I still think that EA will upgrade him to a silver 65 rated card because he's a young talent and he showed a lot of promise every time he played. Joe Gomez, wow, this was a very hard one to, to predict because he was a 55 rated unknown center back for Charlton Athletic on FIFA 15 and on FIFA 16 he needs to be, I think, a 63 rated left back and as time goes on and as he plays more games for Liverpool I'm sure he will get an upgrade in January as well but I don't think EA will upgrade him by more than 8 rating, that's still a really brave prediction from me that he will get a 63 rated card on FIFA 16, we will see when, when the game comes out. And the last player is Jordan Rossiter who was a 60, 60 rated card on FIFA 15 and I think he had some really promising performances in pre-season for Liverpool and also for the reserves, maybe he needs to go out alone, so I think he will get a 63 rated card.